फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट जेंडर इन इक्वेलिटी अफेक्ट्स एवरी आस्पेक्ट ऑफ कल्चर एंड सोसाइटी इट्स अफेक्ट इज मोस्ट प्रोमिनेंट इन द फैमिली स्ट्रक्चर द एजुकेशन सिस्टम एंड द इकोनॉमी जस्ट लाइक सोशल क्लास सिस्टम्स जेंडर इज अ स्ट्रक्चरल फीचर ऑफ सोसाइटी सोशोलॉजिकली द वर्ड जेंडर रेफर्स to the socio cultural definition of men and women the way societies distinguish men and women and assign them social roles the distinction between sex and gender was introduced to deal with the general tendency to attribute women's subordination to their anatomy for ages it was believed that the different characteristics roles and status accorded to women and men in society are determined by sex that they are neutral and natural and therefore not changeable gender is seen closely related to the roles and behavior assigned to women and men based on their sexual differences as soon as a child is born families and societies begin to process of gendering the birth of the son is celebrated the birth of a daughter is filed and filled with pain sons are showered with love respect better food and proper health care boys are encouraged to be tough and outgoing girls are encouraged to be home bound and shy all these differences are gender differences and they are created by society gender inequality is therefore a forum of inequality which is distinct from other forums of economic and social inequalities it dwells not only outside the household but also centrally within it it seems not only from pre-existing differences in economic endowments between women and men but also from pre-existing gendered social norms and social perceptions gender inequality has adverse impact on development goals as it reduces economic growth it hampers the overall well-being because blocking women from participation in social political and economic activities can adversely affect the whole society many developing countries including india have displayed gender inequality in education employment and health it is common to find girls and women suffering from high mortality rates there are vast differences in education level of two sexes india has witnessed gender inequality from its early history due to its socio economic and religious practices that resulted in a wide gap between the position of men and women in the society the sex ratio according to 2011 census report stands at 940 per 1000 males out of the total population 120 million are women who live in abject poverty 
the maternal mortality rate in rural areas is among the world's highest from a global perspective india accounts for 19% of all live births and 27% of all maternal deaths the deaths of young girls in india exceed those of young boys by over 30 and 3 lakh each year and every sixth infant death is specifically due to gender discrimination women face discrimination right from the childhood gender disparities in nutrition are evident from infancy to adulthood in fact gender has been the most statistically significant determinant of malnutrition among young children and malnutrition is a frequent direct or underlying cause of death among girls below age 5 girls are breastfed less frequently and for a shorter duration in infancy in childhood and adulthood males are fed first and better adult women consume approximately 1000 fewer calories per day than men according to one estimate the tradition also requires that women eat last and least throughout their lives even when pregnant and lactating malnourished women give birth to malnourished children perpetuating the cycle women receive less healthcare facilities than men a primary way that parents discriminate against their girl children is through neglect during illness the constitution of india not only ensures gender equality in its preamble as a fundamental right but also empowers the state to adopt measures of positive discrimination in favor of women by ways of legislation and policies india has also ratified various international conventions and human rights forums to secure equal rights to women such as ratification of convention on elimination of all forms of discrimination against women in 1993 women have been finding place in local governance structures overcoming gender biases over 1 million women have been elected to local panchayats as a result of 1993 amendment to the indian constitution requiring that one by third of the elected seats to the local governing bodies be reserved for women the passing of prenatal diagnostic techniques act in 1994 also is a step in removing gender discrimination this act seeks to end sex discrimination and determination t tests and female fertilizer and prohibits doctors from conducting such procedures for the specific purpose of determining the sex of the fetus the government also announced the national policy for empowerment of women in 2001 to bring out advancement development and empowerment of women the government has also drawn up a 
ड्राफ्ट नेशनल पॉलिसी फॉर द एम्पावरमेंट ऑफ वुमेन विच इज अ पॉलिसी स्टेटमेंट आउटलाइनिंग द स्टेट्स रिस्पॉन्स टू प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ जेंडर डिस्क्रिमिनेशन स्टॉप